The Moors Millions races will kick off day three then, and it's leg six. And this one is, I think, the shorter one of the two this week. Well, I think it's about as short as we go. Three miles and two furlongs. 0 to 130 at the top Leaf River. Darren Thompson, Quake, Paul Rose, Geraldo, Darren Thompson, Cirque, Martin Needham, Finding Alice, Martin Needham, Cleveland, Leon Van Rensburg, Silver Coo, James Shea, and Just Rosie for Craig Beckwith. So eight to face the start of it. Small fields in these Moors Millions races this season. And away we go. And Geraldo. Pokes its head out into the lead to start with. As so they make their way to the first of 17 fences to negotiate in this one. The first one is a ditch. And they're all safely around. Oh, there are two of them. Sent the birch flying. And Geraldo is pulling for his head on the inside row. Wants to go considerably quicker than the jockey wants him to. It looks at the moment as though the horse might be winning the battle because he's stepping on well, a couple of lengths now to quake in second. And just rosy on that one's outside. But there's only about four lengths between... The, the main pack, the leader is a couple of lengths ahead of them. With Cirque, the early back marker, as they get to the second, which they're not all over because Finding Alice has gone. So, characteristic fall there for Finding Alice, the jockey out of the side door. And she's out. Uh, that leaves Geraldo in the lead by two to Silver Q second as they get to the third. And that time it was Darren Thompson's horse that very nearly went Leaf River, he's got two in this, Darren Thompson, and his other one, Geraldo, he's bowling along in the lead as they get to the fourth, and this time it was Quake that made the mistake, so one or two, if he jumps so far, just the one that's paid the price, and that was Fidey Alice, and she's run, run, running round at the back, quite contented to be following the rest of them around, proving that horses do like to run and to jump, and it's Geraldo in the lead, then by two, to Silver Q in second, Leaf River is third, Quake is fourth, then Cleveland and Just Rosie, and finally Cirque as they get to the fifth. At the time it was Silver Q that wasn't all that clever. So about the only one that hasn't made a mistake so far is Just Rosie, and she's fallen three times out of four this season. And they get to this big ditch, and they're all safe over that one. Good jump by Cirque at the back, going to jump past. Cleveland for Leon Van Rensburg, who's now the back marker, but Darren Thompson's got the first two now, but there's five lengths between them, with Geraldo the leader, and Leaf River second, Just Rosie is following that one with a white sleeve and the dark blue jacket in third, and on the inside is Silver Coo, Quake is on the outside of that one, Cirque's wider on, still on the track, and then widest of all is Cleveland the back marker. So continuing this longish run to the next, this is the seventh stream over the seventh nicely the field just beginning to get a little bit stretched now with Geraldo in the lead they're inside the final two miles and Geraldo leads by four New Leaf River in second Quake third just Rosie fourth but it's virtually three in a line there as they come past the winning post the complete circuit of the track to go and they now race uphill and will begin to swing right-handed with Geraldo the clear leader by a bet Two and a half lengths to Quake, who's gone second. Then Just Rosie closest to us is third as they get to the eighth. Which they're all over nicely. And Leaf River is in fourth. Bit of a gap then, two lengths or so back to Cirque. And then another two lengths back to Cleveland and Silver Coo. And Geraldo continuing to show the way home at the next. Stood off that one, but got over it nicely. They're all over it well. Good jump at the back by Cleveland. That's why that one jump up along the side. Cirque. But Geraldo continues to lead. Quake is in second as they get to the tenth. Slow jump there by Cirque at the back. I've seen that one now really going to last. Uh, Silver Coup goes by. But Geraldo at this ditch in front. All over that one nicely. Quake second. Just Rosie jumping well today. Third. And Leaf River fourth, and Cleveland, Silver Q, and finally Cirque. But the fielder not quite as strong out as they were as they race down towards the final mile or so. And Geraldo has been in the lead all the way. Just Rosie's just poking ahead into second, and now 
Cleveland is making a significant move forward into third. Then Leaf River and Quake. Silver Coo is also on the premises now, and Cirque is the one who's just four lengths off the rest of them and being pushed along at the back. Geraldo still going comfortably in the lead. Stood off that one though, made a bit of a hash of it. Cirque didn't jump in much better at the back, and surely he's out of it now. But it's Geraldo who's still in the lead by two lengths to Cleveland in second. Over the fourth last they go. And over that one, it was still Geraldo in the lead. Cleveland in second. Silver Coo is third. Just Rosie is back in fourth. Quake on the inside, trying to get going. Leaf River is still there. Cirque plugging on. Gamely at the back, but with little chance of winning. And Geraldo is now six clear and looks to be pulling away at the moment. From Cleveland in second. Quake is third. Silver Coo is fourth. Then just Rosie. And then Leaf River. They've got three to jump, though. And it's Geraldo who's clear. Stands off that one. Jumps it really. One mistake by Cleveland. And that spot paid to that one's chance. Quake is now the main danger in second. But Geraldo is clear by five with two to jump. It's Geraldo in the lead from Quake and just Rosie. Then Leaf River and Silver Coo as they kick the second. That's the final ditch. And over that one, it was still Geraldo. Well clear. Geraldo coming down towards the final three furlongs are still a fair old way to go but only one more fence to jump and it's Geraldo who's clear by five to Just Rosie in second Quake on the inside is third then Cleveland trying to run on again then Silver Coo and Leaf River Cirque's tailed off Geraldo getting a little bit lonely in front races down towards the final fence then with a lead of about five lengths it's Geraldo for Darren Thompson they're beginning to close the pack now they're only three lengths behind he gets over it slowly just roses over it in second and he's beginning to close on the leader Geraldo's in front there's still a furlong to go Cleveland's got a second win Geraldo is really tying up here on the outside as well comes Leaf River Cleveland's going with a run just Rosie's coming with a run Geraldo's beaten it's got to be close it's Cleveland and just Rosie it's Cleveland who's just getting up close it's just Cleveland wins it just Rosie's second in silver Coo and Leaf River and Quake Geraldo dropped right out in the end and Cirque was last and Geraldo just couldn't quite see it home and that last half furlong did him and Cleveland despite that mistake at the second last I think it was just got up to take it gallant effort from just Rosie in second and Cleveland the winner for Leon Van Rensburg. Just Rosie second for Craig Beckwith. Silver Coup, James Shea was third. Leaf River for Darren Thompson fourth. And Quake for Paul Rhodes was fifth.